Hello everyone, you are welcome to the second episode of the Manual Reinforced Concrete Design using RCC Design Excel Spreadsheet. I am Ridwan Ibrahim and in this episode, we will be making the analysis of a substitute frame, okay? So what we mean by a substitute frame is basically, you know, a frame that is a combination of a column and then a beam and sometimes a slab, okay? So we'll be making an analysis of this. So when you, when you have a beam, you have a column and then you want to analyze it, okay? Such as what we have here. So in this case, the, um, the template we'll be using is RCC21. You can see it here, subframe analysis. So I will click on that to open it. That is what we'll be using for the analysis. And just as I said in the last episode, we will be picking an actual example from one textbook. So I've decided to use uh, Mosley Abonge. So this is Mosley Abonge. This question was picked from Mosley Abonge. So example 3.3. .3. So what are we supposed to do here? Now, if you look at this beam, you see this is a frame, right? And then we have three spans. We have span from A to B. We are from B to C and we are from C to D. So A to B, we have six meter. Here we have four meter and here we have six meter, okay? And then you can see the column. So there's a column at the top. There's a column at the bottom. The column at the top, they are basically 3.5 meter high and the column at the bottom, it is um, four meter high, okay? And then you can see that the beam, the beam, they are equal. And then the section of the beam is 600 by 300. And then for the column, the section is 350 by 300, okay? So one of the columns are being labeled and one of the beams is being labeled. That tells me that, okay, all of the beams have the same section while all of the column, they have the same section as well, okay? Another thing that I have to put in cognizance is the condition of the beam, whether it is a T-beam or it is a hell beam or it is a rectangular beam, okay? I believe you know what that is. If it is a rectangular beam, that means it is a beam that is not supporting a slab at all, okay? So that means there is no slab over there. It is not, for example, when you have a roof beam, you know, a roof beam where you have no slab, it's just the roof that is coming on it, then that is a rectangular beam, okay? And there is T-beam. T-beam is a beam that has slab at both ends, why all beam is a beam that has slab at just one end, okay? So in this question, it is not mentioned whether it is T, B, or R, but I will just assume it is R since it is not mentioned. Because if it is a flanged beam, they will give me more detail like the, you know, the BF, HF, and many more like that. And then for the loading, it is said that I should use my dead load, which is GK, I should take it as 25 kN per meter. And then I should take my live load as 10 kN per meter. So this is all the um, parameters that I have. Now, all I need to do is to analyze this. So the template is open. So all we just need to do right now is to go ahead and do the analysis. So from here, you can change the project name, the client's name, everything you see in blue color can be changed. Okay, so you just go ahead and change them. So um, no, in order not to waste time, I'll just open this. I think I should be able to minimize this. Okay, that'll be better. So I'll just put it in this side. Okay. Now let's see for the beam, you see the spans. So for the first beam, I have six meter, four meter, six meter. So I'll click this, that's six meter. And then for span two, that is four meter. I'll just put four automatically to fix the point zero zero zero. And here I'll put six. And there's just three spans. So this particular one, I'll just, put a backspace okay so this template is capable of solving up to six spans okay let's assume there's another span here of four meter i'll just put it let's say there's another one of six meter here just put six okay automatically it will open it up okay something like this let's say there's seven here you just click on it then it will you know you can use everything you can use up to six spans but we are not doing anything here clear it also here clear it and then for span four clear it okay we only need three spans now, for the section of the beam, the beam is 350 by, sorry, the beam is 600 by 300. So, leave this to be 600, then you need to change this one to 300. Also, you change this one to 300, and then you also need to change this one to 300. So, as for this one, backspace on your keyboard. This one as well, backspace on your keyboard. Then HF, of course, it is not a flanged beam. And for that fact, there is no slab. So I'll just put zero. So zero. Also for this, zero. Also for this, zero. And then also for this, zero. Uh, no, sorry. Just backspace, okay? So if you put zero, it should just put zero, but at least backspace is better. 
Then for the T, type, okay, so you can check your type. T is for T, L is for L, R is for R. It's very easy. T beam, L beam, R beam, that's how we call it. So here, I will put R, it's not T, okay? Also here, the moment I click R, you see that the BF will change, okay? So this, you see it has changed to 300. I'll put R here as well. And then here, I will put R as well. And then here, just backspace. Then for the loading pattern, I will use 1.4 GK and 1.6 QK, okay? So that's um, the basic um, loading combination. So for the supports, you know, now we fix the detail of the beam. So that's the span. We need to fix the detail of the support as well, okay? So let's see what we have for the supports. Um, the supports, the support at the top, the height is 3.5 meter. And the one at the bottom, the height is 4 meter. And the section is 350 by 300. So that should be all. So let's see the one at the above. Everything above, it should be 3.5. So here, 3.5. Of course, you can see the above. So I'll just change everything to 3.5 at the same time. 3.5. Also, 3.5. You now have four support like that. Also, this 3.5. And then here, backspace. Okay. And then H, that is 350. Don't forget, 350 by 300 is a section. So 350, okay? Also here, 350. Also here, 350. And then here, backspace, okay? Then this one is 300, 300. So here you also have to put 300. Here you have to put 300. And then here, just it's your backspace, okay? Then the condition, F for fixed, okay? You can check it here. K for knife, C for cantilever, E for econ tree, and then F for fixed, P for pin, okay? So F for fixed, so everything is fixed. So put F, also this, F, also this, F, and then here, backspace. You should keep it in mind that if it is pin, the condition will be different. So for the height of the column below, we've seen that it is four meter. So put four meter for all of the height at the bottom four meter and then here backspace because we only have four supports so what about h is still the same thing 350 so 350 by 350 so just change that okay 350 i do not want to forward the video i can actually fix everything and then make the video fast but i just want us to be editing it as it is there so this is 300 300 and then this should be 300 as well and then here backspace so everything should be fixed. So this is F, this is, sorry, this is F, also the third one F, the fourth one F, and then this one, backspace. So now we fix the detail of the beam. We've also fixed the detail of the column. So that should be all, okay? Another thing you need to fix right now is the load, okay? So you can see the load. So let's go back to our exercise and see what we have for the load. The load says that, um, okay, GK, we should use 25 kN, and then QK, we should use 10 kN, and it should be uniformly distributed along the beam. So there is no point load, and it did not say that it will stop at so, so, so position. So we'll be using it for all of the section, okay? So 25 and 10. So you can see for span 1, this is span 1, right? Span 1, the dead load, you can see it at the top, dead load, that will be 25. And then impose load, that will be... 10 okay and this position you can see position length so it is throughout so you can see the line so it means throughout so you don't need to change that just like that since it is throughout then this is span one you can see you have point load one we don't have point load so you're not feeling anything point load two we don't have anything don't feel then part you here you don't have anything just leave it then you come to span two okay so span two is still the same load they did not say we should use different loads so 25 and 10 don't forget that we have three spans, okay? Then here, there's point load here by default. What do you need to do? Just put zero or you just hit um, backspace, either of the two. So hit backspace. Also here, hit backspace. By default, it will clear. You can also put zero, it's the same thing. So from there, we move to span three. This will also be 25. And this will be 10, right? And then there's um, this thing here, put zero. You know, we are just editing the defaults. So when you are done with this template and you click save, the last thing you did will be what will be there. So that's not a big deal. So here, hit save, okay? So we don't need to do anything here since we don't have any... We don't have spam four, okay? So you see that everything that is in red color, it will definitely remove it from your analysis. But to be on the safer side, you can just clear it, you know? 
Uh -huh. But you know that we don't have spam for. So automatically, it will not even put anything there. So, but if you want to clear it, clear it. Personally, I even like clearing it. So I think we've cleared that now. So we know this is the only thing we have, okay? So now we are done doing everything. We just need to come to actions so that we can see our results. Then you see it has drawn the uh, bending moment diagram. So there are two bending moment diagram. Number one is to draw the elastic bending moment diagram, which is the actual one. And then for the redistributed moment, it will draw another one, okay? So this is the first one. This is the, um, the second one, okay? So let's just see the moment, the support moment and the span moment. So I'll open the second image where the result is, okay? So this is the second image. Let me just um, minimize it like this, okay? Okay. Now let's see, for the bending moment, you see what we have here is the bending moment for the, for the beam. This is for the, uh, the bending moment for the, sorry, the shear force for the beam. And this is the bending moment for the column, right? Okay, so that's, that's good. Sorry, I should have, I do not have the textbook on my laptop, but I have it on my other laptop and I have it on my phone. So I just have to, you know, get the picture here. So if the picture is not here, I'll have checked the shear force of the column too. So we just confirm that. But let's just confirm these three parameters first. So now let's see. This is my support moment, right? Now let's see support moment. What do you have here? 74. You see what you have here is actually 74 too, okay? Now the second support moment, that's 149.8. You see what you have here? 150. What about the third one 150 what do we have 149.8 almost the same thing it's just a 0 0.2 difference and for the last one 74 what do we have to 74 you can see that now let's see the um the span moment so if you, if you check the span moment what do we have 125.2 what do we have here 126 what do we have here 24 what do we have here 25 and then what do we have here? 125.2. We have 126. You can see this is close, but it is there is a little bit discrepancy, but at least it is close. So you see, this is exactly how it will analyze your results. Then for the shear force, let me let me come down to see the shear force. Okay. So this is the shear force of the beam, right? So let's see the shear force. For the shear force here, you have 142.6. What do you have here? You have 143. Okay. And then here you have 166.1. You see, you have 166. Here you have 102, 102. Here you have 102, 102. Okay. And here you have 166.1, 142.6. You can see 166, 142. So just as I said, you have for the elastic and you also have for the redistributed moment. So the redistributed, the redistributed moment and the redistributed shape also. That's all. Okay. So um, for the column as well. So let's see the bending moment for the column so for the column you see here for the above you see we have 37.9 then for the above you see what is here 40 here you have that 3.1 here you have 34 so like that like that like that you can always um check them so in order not to waste time this is how you go about analyzing your frame you can see we've gotten the result for the beam and we've gotten the result for the for the column so this is how you analyze your beam and then your column then you can bring out the moments then you can use it to do your other analysis or your other design you know the beam design the column design and everything so these are the results you are expected to get from your analysis and then you can just proceed with your design so in the next video we will move forward to see how we can design um maybe slab or we should begin with beam so in the next video we find out what we will be doing next so if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, kindly consider giving me a subscription. Thank you for watching and watch out for the next episode.